What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do this really cool message animation as you guys saw in the beginning of this video. And uh, I will leave all of the plugins in the description so you guys can purchase and download them. I'm not being sponsored at all for this video, so just keep that in mind. But uh, before I begin with this video, I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me if I'm going to be reviewing the new update with Final Cut Pro 10. And you guys already know the answer. The answer is, of course, yes. I freaking love Final Cut Pro. So I will be doing a review for Final Cut Pro 10 10.3 on my next video. So just stay tuned for that. And I have other amazing videos planned out for next week, especially on Wednesday, because it has to do something with my 100,000 subscribers. So if anyone can guess, comment down. But let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that right now. So it's very simple. The actual uh, plugin that I used was um, called M Message. I will leave a link in the description, like I said. Um, it isn't for free, but if you guys purchase it, you guys have a whole bunch of themes and styled uh, notifications and messages that you guys can use. And it's really simple and easy to use. So this is what I did here. Let me go ahead and play it so you guys can see. Yeah, so let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So I'm gonna push delete. And before I start, I want to give a huge shout out to the award-winning short dark thriller film. Uh, it's called Closed Doors back in 2011. I will leave this video in the description so you guys can watch it. I really suggest you guys watch it. It's a really nice film. So we're going to go ahead and go on to the titles. And we're going to go down to M Message once you guys once you guys have installed it. Here you have a bunch of notifications. You have pop-ups. You have short messages and even social media like themes and styles that you can choose so this one's on twitter this one's from facebook pinterest youtube and instagram and a whole bunch of other ones of course they're not exactly similar but they're very very um or exact i guess but they're similar all right guys so i'm going to be using this one here it's called m message 22 so i'm going to go ahead and drag that right on the video and i'm just going to go right about here so before he even looks at the uh, door here and as he's typing on his computer you also want to go ahead and trim this down before uh, you even do anything and if you cut it like split the video it will cut the animation towards the end of the title so I'm gonna just do it here so that's where I want it to start and end so now what you want to go ahead and do is kind of go into it so you guys can actually see what's going on here and then on the inspector window here if you go onto title and you go onto parameters you're gonna have a whole bunch of settings that you guys can customize now each of these settings will be different to each notification and messages that you choose so in this case we have the build in and the build out these are pretty much the animations for it so if you push play here you can see how it just kind of just starts with no animation however if we have these checked it will uh, play the animation which is really nice and which is probably what you want now the content scale so this is uh, the part where you can actually make the message bigger or smaller in this case I'm just gonna go like this so it's not too big and then the content offset where it says X and Y the X will just move it left and right and then the offset for Y will move it up and down so I'm just you can move it to the right or to the left I'm just gonna keep it how it is the direction we have right or left so this will move it to the left and if you want to add another message you can do that as well and just drag that on top so it'll look like there's a conversation happening of course you can always change the color um, right here bubble color and match it with like gray I think a light gray uh, for the iMessage and then <laughs> for the bubble opacity this is where you can get rid of the background if you wanted to the bubble scale of course this is if you have a lot of text going on so let's just say hey it's by your door man this sounds creepy okay <laughs> I'm gonna put a smiley face by the towards the end so if this was to be longer or really long message you can actually make the bubble a uh, little here bigger so you can maybe um, extend it out so we can do that or make it smaller like that uh, I don't know why the X scale is not moving but I'll just leave it like that so if you go down we're gonna have the title color so this is where you can change the color of the text to if you want black or red I'm just gonna leave it how it is the title font you can change the font of course Apple uses Helvetica and I have that installed I haven't installed my other fonts though which I should um, 
but I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. We have the title size, the line spacing, the tracking, and we also have the title offset. So now to track it, which is pr pretty much what you guys are really wanting to watch, it's very simple. You have some settings here or some controls. We have the track option to track whatever is in this little square. So if you click on this uh, circle here, this is what you wanna go ahead and track. I'm gonna be tracking his eyebrows and this little outer small uh, square will allow you to rotate this little square. So if it's in an angle, you can do that. And if you hover over the outer bigger square and you click and drag, this will allow you to change the size of it. So his eyebrow is kind of like long, so I'm gonna go like that. And then this one right here, this other circle, will allow you to move the actual message or notification to wherever you want. So in this case, I'm just gonna move it like right there. Right there is fine. Now the reverse option, I'm not too sure what that does, but I think it re like does the opposite of what we're doing. Uh, with the tracking. So when you're ready to track, move the playhead to the beginning of the title and then you want to go ahead and click track. Now when you click track, a new window is going to pop up and it will say um, how many frames you have. In this case, we have 83 frames and it's going to go ahead and track whatever we have put into this little uh, square there. And then now if you move the playhead, it will move along with his eyebrows. Now we also want to render this out so it plays back smoothly without any um, buffers or any interruptions with the play and pause just go ahead and render that out and it will go ahead and just play everything back in real time so we have it about there so now if we push play from the beginning this is what we have and of course you guys can customize it and do a whole bunch of other stuff if you guys want but let me go ahead and show you guys what we did all right so uh, that's pretty much it for this, you know, this tutorial, this really simple uh, plug-in tutorial. Again, I'm not being sponsored by any of this, so just keep that in mind. But if you guys want to purchase and download it, I will leave a link in the description for you to check out. And comment down if you guys want to see more videos like this or just smash that like button. That will be awesome. Keep in mind that next Wednesday I will be putting out a really really nice video for you guys so that one's probably one of my it's gonna be one of my best videos i have or i'm gonna be making uh so i'm really really pumped for that but in the meantime i hope you guys like these tutorials i will be making the uh final cut pro 10 update tomorrow i'll be reviewing it so be sure to stay tuned for that and i'll catch you guys on my next video until then peace out take care and enjoy your day